All right, there we go. We're uh, in the car on the wrong side. Everything is wrong side. <laughs> Pray for us. <laughs> We're off to Lost Whipple. Lost Whipple. I forget how they pronounce it now, but anyway. Out to Cornwall, four hour drive. Kaylee's on the plane, or getting on the plane here shortly. Heading home, so we'll see how this driving thing Yeah, so four hour drive at the Lost Whipple. We pick up the car yard Heathrow, downtown London over here. We stayed at uh, Doubletree, of course, like we've been mentioning. So, you know, Lost Withal, out in Cornwall. This is all Cornwall out here. So that's where we're heading, um, almost out to the very end. So just tell my mom. So we got Lost Withal here, which her grandfather lived here around the end of the 1800s, early 1900s. And then down along this river here, place called St. Widow, which is where we're going to be going. And that's where her grandfather was born, and her, his father, and his father, and his father. They were all born in this little tiny place down there. So we're heading that direction. And then that's the ocean. And then, right, and then we got the ocean in St. Austell. I know I'm not pronouncing it right, but anyway, it's down that way. Grandma's gonna hold the camera because I'm driving a stick as we, and I don't have anywhere to mount the camera in the car, so here we go. Down into Lost Withal, hopefully. Oh, oh I'll take off the brake. <laughs> oh, don't go backwards. Oh, there's a car coming. Hold on. Oh. Now, this road wasn't as narrow as these other streets we just came down a few minutes ago, but let me tell you, a little bit nerve wracking. better than the other road we were on. When we first got on that one road. This road's pretty decent. <laughs> yep, here we go. We're in, rolling into Lost Whiffle. staying at the Royal Oak and Lost Withal. This is our, we're staying at a proper inn. Not much to the room, two singles, a little tiny bed. And, uh, but people that we were talking to earlier, oh dear, where's the, well, is it? you're gonna have fun with this one, mom. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the road to St. Widow. Now, the last road I thought was small until I turned on this road. <laughs> and I was like, you gotta be joking. What do you do if somebody else comes the other way? Somebody's gotta back up. There's no way two cars are getting through here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Unbelievable. cart here where she's cooking up some food, ice cream. I mean there's only four or five buildings here. It's very charming. Where's the pause? Didn't find any Lambertons here yet. <laughs> but speaking to uh, some of the local people up there at the little uh, food thing, they said that St. Winnow is actually a good sized parish. It covers here, Lost Withal. He mentioned a couple other places. So, if he was christened in St. Winnow, it could just be referring to the parish as a whole, not necessarily that he was christened here at St. Winnow at this chapel. So he may or may not have lived here. Now we know that they lived up in Lost Withal, which I have that address, so we're gonna go to that street at some point. But uh, we don't find any, no Lamertons here in the cemetery. So, the hunt is on. The door is not locked, come in. Apparently it is locked though. So, can't go in. But, uh, charming little church. So the secret to the door, uh -huh. twist this. And twisting it lifts the latch. Oh. Brilliant. Oh, this is the baptistry. Yep. So while we were here in St. Winnow, really cool little place. You know, as we came down into town, we saw there was a bunch of people like chilling. Uh, they had that little tiny food cart uh, camper there. Lady was in there cooking up some food. There was a bunch of locals just chilling, hanging out. There's also up the river is Fowey. That's the river Fowey, but there's a town called Fowey. And so people would walk up the, along the river and come up here to the little thing. So anyway, uh, some things we did learn about the Lamertons, they definitely were here in St. Winnow. We looked at the census records and they were here in the mid, or a lot of the 1800s they were here. <clears throat> and so, you know, the baptistry that we just saw, they would have been christened there. Uh, we do know that some of them eventually went uh, like up to Lost Withel and worked as a servant. And, you know, another one went and worked as a farm hand. So... They were what they call over there the working class. So as working class, I don't know if they just couldn't afford to have headstones and maybe a proper burial in the cemetery. I don't know. Most of the you know gravestones that we saw were family members in big groups. So maybe because they're working class, you know, that's they just couldn't afford to be there. Uh, we did learn. I mean, the cemeteries, if anything's over the mid 1800s, very hard to read the tombstones. And then you know the cemeteries just weren't very well maintained either. A lot of broken headstones and you know grass overrun so but anyway Lambertons did walk here in St. Winnow they were here Okay, so we went from down here St. Winnow, and from there we went up to where they lived up on 9 Pulsco Road, which was just outside of Lost Withal. So we went, you can see there's Lost Withal, where we're staying at the Royal Oak, and then this 9 Pulsco is just over to the side. I thought I had some video of this, but apparently not, just a couple pictures. 
so yeah mom being mom she went and actually knocked on the door uh, the people there were really nice they invited us in and we chatted with them but you know Lambertons lived here uh, it was nice to kind of chat with those people and they took a picture of us and whatnot so that was a lot of fun all right so then uh, we went from this Polsky Road over to Summers Lane this was the last place they lived at in uh, Summer Street in Lost Whipple, which was just right downtown, so it wasn't too far from. All right, there we go. We're going to see if we can not die. I see anything coming? Yeah. Okay, so what is it, 35 or 37? 35. 35. We're thinking it's this street. Somebody lived there. We'll look it up later, but they also lived here, we believe. And do you see 35? Three. Three? Three? Three. Maybe it's just Well, maybe that's why Google has it ending right there on the corner. Maybe those street numbers or houses have changed. Okay, wait a second. I'm trying to see another one. I don't know what that beep was. In Google Maps, it has it ending right at that one corner where we came out. So it's well, possible that they're not, and this yeah. might not even be the same thing because it's called Summer's Road. In 500 feet, you will arrive at your destination. So. And these are certainly newer homes. These, yeah, right here these look are not. newer. But the ones up here at the corner with the right. stone like that are one older. Right there. So it's possible that there yeah. may have been more. You've arrived. But they would have lived right in here, is our best guess. Right. And probably in houses like these here. Right. Like these row houses. These are certainly older. That's 28. Yeah, and these are older. And so. that's 33. So 35 would have been on the corner. Yep. Uh, if I scratch this car, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, no. Oh! Here, pull over here. No, let them pull over. What kind of beef did you have? Some type of beef. The beef, the beef stew. Mm -hmm. Wow. What do you think, Mother? Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you. Oh, super. All right, guys. We've got everything. Yep. I think yep. we're set. All right, then. Enjoy. I'll put thank back you. in a few minutes. Okay, thank you. So, what do you think of that, Mother? Holy mackerel. I don't know what to think of that. That looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Lost Withel. Just finished dinner. Here's the Museum and Historical Society. We're just out for a little walk in the, in the town. Looks like an old town. All right, so I think we got our mission accomplished. We went to St. Winnow, saw the church, uh, ate at the little tea uh, camper there, went to uh, 9 Polsko Street, where we know Lamertons had lived there for a while, according to the census. So that was cool. Went to Summers Lane. We know that the Lamertons lived there in the late 1800s. That may have been the last place that uh, great great grandfather uh, lived, or one of the last places before he came to America. So I think it was a good day. I think we accomplished everything that we needed to do. We saw a lot and had a nice dinner. Here we're just kind of walking around town and then uh, we call it a day. So I hope you enjoy. I'll put some pictures here and such. Hope you enjoy.